Thank you for purchasing a Dell Inspiron computer. Your new computer combines high performance with advanced multimedia capabilities in an all-in-one package. Whether you're new to Dell products or an experienced user, this video guide is designed to make it quick and easy to set up your new Dell Inspiron computer. In addition, we will show you how to set up the Microsoft Windows 98 operating system that's installed on your new computer. This program also includes instructions for removing and adding PC cards and for installing other options, such as a second battery in the media bay. Before we begin, keep in mind that setting up the computer and the operating system could take as long as 15 minutes, and it should be done without interruption to make sure the operating system is properly installed. If you don't have about 15 minutes of uninterrupted time available now, stop and come back to this when you do. Okay, let's start with the basics. Once you've unpacked the shipping carton according to the instructions on the Getting Started document that came with your computer, you can unpack the accessories that you'll need for setting up your system. For now, you only need the AC adapter and the AC adapter power cable. The accessories box also includes a few other items documentation, a system software CD, and any options or software you may have ordered. Now you're ready to get started. Begin by connecting the AC adapter power cable to the AC adapter. Then plug the AC adapter power cable into a wall outlet. The small light on top of the AC adapter should now come on. If it doesn't, Check to see that all the connections are secure. And finally, plug the AC adapter cable into the connector on your computer. There's already a partially charged battery installed in the computer, but by using AC power instead of battery power to run the computer at this point, you allow the battery inside the computer to charge while you're setting up the system. Don't attach any devices, PC cards, or other items to your computer yet. You need to set up the operating system first. Check the PC card slot in your computer. If there is already a PC card there, remove it. To remove a PC card, press the eject button. The button will slide out. When the button slides out, press it again to release the card. Gently remove the card from the slot. Then press the eject button once more until it is flush with the computer casing. If you have an internal modem installed in your computer, connect a telephone line to it as instructed in the Getting Started sheet that accompanied your system. Finally, open the display and press the power button. Look at the area at the top of your keyboard to be sure the three small lights, Num Lock, Caps Lock, and Scroll Lock, Come on when you press the power button. Now you're ready to set up the Microsoft Windows 98 operating system software, which Dell has already installed for you. Use the Dell Inspiron setup guide for instructions as you set up Windows 98. One more thing to remember before we go on. If you have a problem while you're setting up the operating system and you need to restart the computer, do it by simply pressing the power button to turn the computer off, then pressing it again to turn it back on. Don't use any other procedure, such as a combination of keyboard strokes, to restart the computer during the setup process. Okay, ready? Let's start. When the Dell Software License window appears, read the Software License Agreement that came with your system and then press any key to continue. By the way, your touchpad won't work at this point because the appropriate software drivers aren't loaded yet. The touchpad will become operational shortly. If the Express Service Code is displayed, press any key to continue. The computer restarts automatically. After the computer restarts, the Windows 98 screen appears for about one or two minutes. Although it may appear as if no activity is occurring, the operating system is actually loading program files. Your touchpad will also be operational now. When the Getting Started window appears, 
verify that the regional and keyboard setup and layout settings are correct for your location. Then click Next. Otherwise, click the appropriate settings and then click Next. When prompted, enter your name and company information and then click Next. If a modem preparation window appears and allows you to connect to Microsoft and register your operating system, you may click Skip or enter the requested information, click Next, and follow the instructions. When the License Agreement screen appears, read the License Agreement, click I Accept the Agreement, and then click Next. You must accept the agreement to proceed. If a screen appears that prompts you to set up Internet access or provides information about how to connect to the Internet, you can follow the instructions that appear on the screen or click Skip to bypass Internet setup and information. Click Finish. You're almost done. If the Date Time Properties window shows the correct time, date, and time zone for your area, click Close. Otherwise, enter the correct time, date, and time zone, click Apply, and then click OK. Congratulations, you successfully set up your Windows 98 operating system software. Your computer is ready to use. Click Start, point to Programs, then to Dell Documents, and then click the System Help icon. This help file gives you all kinds of information you need to use the computer. Because the System Help is on your hard drive, it's available to you wherever you go. One of the things you may do a lot with your new Dell Inspiron computer is install and remove PC cards. Here's how that works. To install a PC card, Hold it with the top side facing up and the orientation symbol, an arrow or a triangle, pointing into the PC card slot on your computer. Insert the card into the slot and press in until it is firmly in place in the internal PC card connector. If you feel a lot of resistance when you try to insert the card, don't force it. Double check the orientation and try again. After being inserted, most PC cards will be configured automatically to work with your system. If not, use the diskette or CD that came with the card to install the appropriate device drivers. If you're installing a modem PC card, you'll need to use the documentation that came with it to configure the communication software. Your computer comes with either a CD-ROM drive or a DVD-ROM drive already installed in the media bay, but you can replace it with another option if you prefer. For instance, you can install a second battery in the media bay. Before you start, be sure that the computer is shut down and that the display is closed. Then turn the computer over so that the bottom is accessible, as you see here. Slide the latch release away from the media bay. Keep holding the latch release with one hand while pulling the device out of the media bay with the other. Install the new battery in the media bay. When it's in place, you'll hear and feel a distinct click to let you know that it's been installed correctly. Return the computer to its normal position. That's it. You're ready to restart your computer. That concludes our presentation. The information you've just seen, along with the printed documentation that came with your system and the system help, should provide you with everything you need to know to start using your Dell Inspiron computer with Microsoft Windows 98. If you still have questions, visit Dell's technical support website at support.dell.com. You can also look in the Contacting Dell section in the system help for a number to call. Thanks again for buying a Dell computer.